the legendary trombonist Papa Fred Fred Fred. Hit me, Fred. Say, ask Macy. What the? Hello. Okay. Hi. Hello. Bonsoir. Bonjour. Vikamen. Aloha. Bienvenido. Hi. My name is Oak Song, the soul singer. And you are watching the indie vlog. The indie vlogs. Where I take you on my trials and tribulations, my motivations and my inspirations. And today, um, today I'd like to talk about one of my inspirations. Um, the indie vlogs really is, is uh, kind of my way to give myself an accountability uh, to do the work because if you do the work, if you have cause and effect, you can make things happen. Um, uh, one of the people that I recorded with recently uh, that I talk about and I will talk about a lot on this vlog is Fred Wesley. So who is Fred Wesley? Who is Fred Wesley? What can I say except for that he is a man who is very kind, he's generous, he is not pretentious. Do you understand that? Not pretentious? He's a legend up here, but he's not pretentious. He'll talk to you about music, he'll talk to you about football, he'll talk to you about shoes. Fred is a very interesting man. Anyway, um, today I got to talk to him, well, it wasn't today. I went on that trip to South Carolina, you guys saw that, and I got to ask him a bunch of questions I want to focus on, and that is, who is Fred Wesley? What does he stand for? What is he all about? He is the advocate, the advocate for the sidemen. So, I'm gonna stop talking so I can fix this camera. <clears throat> and I don't move. Maybe it looks normal. <laughs> Well, let's just, just listen. Hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, I know, I know exactly I what that is. And uh, me, me and P, we got a thing about that. We, we, we did, getting ready to do an interview. Yeah. And uh, first thing the interview said, interview, and this is a legitimate question. Yes. He said, well, where's Maceo? Okay. Oh, because the three of y'all, two of y'all together. <laughs> right. He said, where's Maceo? Me and P, we looked at each other and said, ask Maceo. <laughs> 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 But I made a mistake. I left Ike Turner, which was a good year. Okay. I mean, all the things you heard about Ike Turner, beating up Tina. But I think he's a great musician, so. Beating up Tina. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, all that aside, mm -hmm. he, he, he was a good side man. He did good, good work. Mm -hmm. His band was good. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 he paid on time. You know, that's very important. Yes. Pay on time, and he always did. But I made a mistake and by leaving the band because I wanted to play jazz. Okay. And this band didn't play jazz. I played bop, 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 all these things that just like Tana needed, you know. But I didn't ever play jazz. And I wanted to develop a great, great jazz drummer there. So uh, uh, I left and went with Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Wow. Because my friends were with him. Okay. And they told me, they said, when well, you come over here and play with us, we play some jazz, you know. Before the show happened, we played jazz. You know, okay. uh, that was attractive to me. So okay. I went. I went out with Hank Ballard and Midnighters, which turned out to be a bad. Unlike uh, Hank Turner, I never got paid. I don't mean got paid oh. sometimes. Okay, like or she got slow paid. Nope. Okay. Never. No. <laughs> Never got paid. And plus, the guys I was with, they were into drugs and stuff, you yeah. know. And uh, uh, I, uh, it was just a total disaster. I ended up. You got sucked into a vortex. That's actually, yeah.
That's what boy takes it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, and I ended up uh, uh, half dead. Almost, almost died because I had no money. They had no, no, uh, no coat and stuff. We was in Buffalo, New York, snow all over the place, and I had to get back to Atlanta. I'm trying to get back to Mobile, and I oh, wow. realized my mistake. And uh, so I, I finally did get back to Mobile. And, uh, that was my first outing as a side man. I first moved out. I, I turned on them when we had about midnight. Good experience, bad experience. Yeah. So now oh, I know. Oh, you had the comparable too. Now I know what to do mm -hmm. and what not to never do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me ask you this then, as a, because uh, today, uh, well, not just today. This is in the 80s and the 90s and 2000. All this was popular. Is that at some point the side man realized I could be the front man. I could be the main act, uh, and uh, and people's uh, habits started changing how they did sidemans, and I started to, it started to look like to me that the sideman was a little less popular. Everybody wanted to be up front. What makes a good sideman, and why is it a good idea when you start out to be a sideman? Because a sideman has to be consistent, has support, had to support his artists consistently, and. Uh, 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 I don't agree that side men decided they want to be out front. Okay. Because uh, a side man is very comfortable where he is. A real okay. good side man. I see. It's comfortable where he is taking orders, doing other people's music, you know, okay. enhancing other people's music, okay. enhancing other people's okay. ideas, you know. Right. Uh, 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 P.B. Ellis was a good side man. Okay. He, he uh, 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 took James Brown idea and came up with cold sweat. Okay. That's P.B. Ellis and James Brown. Right. You see, they, and, and uh, it, 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 it turned out to be James Brown, but P.B. Ellis deserves some credit for that too. You okay. know, he's yeah. getting it now. Yeah. But I mean, at back, the time. Yeah, he didn't get it. You know. Okay. And uh, uh, so that's what I'm an advocate for. Okay. Side man getting his credit when when it's deserved. Deserve. Now, I don't know who does these hip hop. Music, but I bet you these these uh, hip hoppers don't do their music themselves. I bet other people. A lot of them are doing that today. A lot of them are. But you're right. Other people. Other people help them. Mm -hmm. Other people do the engineer. That's right. Uh, 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 all of these people, good side men. All these people, uh, and the the, the the video people. Yes. All, that, all of that. It, it's side. It it helps to make the the star who he is. You know. What does he stand for? What is he all about? He is the advocate, the advocate for the sidemen. At Funky Fred Wesley. A lot of this footage was shot, so I'm gonna say thank you to Masa J. What's up, Masa? Has this wonderful podcast, Raw Brilliance, and yours truly will be co-hosting sometimes. Check us out on YouTube. Anyway, Monster J, thank you for doing some of this beautiful footage. Actually, almost all of it. All of the footage is yours. Um, who is Fred Wesley? Well, Fred Wesley is a trombonist. Um, he played with Count Basie. Count Basie. He played with Ike and Tina Turner. You know, Ike and Tina Turner. He played with uh, the P-Funk Parliament, you know, uh, he knows Bootsy very well, you know those guys. And he played for James Brown, which is where most people know him from. You guys know in the songs, like some of those songs that James Brown does, he'll say, hit me three times, and he'll say, hit me, Fred, three times, one, two, three, or he'll say, Fred, hit me, four times, one, two, three, four. Well, this is Fred, and this is the book. Just make sure that's real clear. If I back up, um, he wrote that song, The Big Payback, and, uh, or it was a part of that song, and part of the song, um, Doing It to Death, or um, Pass the Peas. Anyway, Hit Me Fred, this book. You guys can check it out. That's what it looks like. By Fred Wesley. Okay, this man is the ultimate sideman. He is the ultimate advocate 
for the side man. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and Fred. Um, I hope you learned a lot. I will see you next week. Google Fred. Check out some of his music. Check out some of the stuff he did with James Brown. Check out some of the stuff he did with Parliament. Check out House Party. Man. Anyway, okay. I need to calm down. No, I don't need to calm down. Check out House Party. Check out Hit Me Fred, the book. Check out Parliament p -Funk. Check out the Horny Horns. Y'all know the Horny Horns? Do you know about the Horny Horns? Check that out. Check out, check out, what else can I tell you to check out? Ooh, he did this group called Abraham Inc. Check that out. Fred is like doing his thing. Uh, being an indie artist and doing it by yourself and if you're a guitar player, bass player, drummer, or any musician, or singer, or backing singer, front singer, whatever it is that you want to do, you know, it's good if you want to get out there and get started. Be somebody's side man for a while. Commit for a year or two or three with somebody and learn. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much again for coming by. Um, if you haven't already, please, if you feel so inclined to do so, subscribe. If you want to find me on Instagram, I am at I, at, I am Oaksong, O-C-S-O-N-G. Um, if you want to hit me up on Facebook, I'm on Oak Song on Facebook. Um, and well, you know here on, on YouTube, just subscribe, hit the like button, share, leave a comment, all that stuff. I do talk back. So if you leave a message, I'll message you back. Talk to you later. Thanks. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it.